week eight Jag Steelers. And this is why I'm on Christian Kirk over 54 and a half receiving yards minus 110. First is the output. He's gone 50 plus yards in five of his last six games and 75 plus yards in three of his last four. He's got a 25% target share since week two and ranks top 15 in catches of 10 plus yards, 20 plus yards, and top five in catches of 30 plus yards. This is a guy who has become the number one receiver in this Jacksonville offense. Next, the opponent. Pittsburgh, only one other team is allowing more receiving yards to opposing wide receivers than Pittsburgh on the year. Puka Nakua, 154 yards last week. Nico Collins, 168, two TDs. And Devontae Adams, 172 yards, two TDs, all dating back to week three. This is a defense that is giving up a ton of yardage through the air to opposing wide receivers, and Christian Kirk can absolutely take advantage of this. Next is... The competition. Calvin Ridley has not looked great. Right out of the gate, he's struggling to get open. He sits 79th in separation. He isn't giving his quarterback a lot to throw at. And when he does get the ball, 56% catch rate. He has a lot of contested catches. He's not looking great. The O-line is getting healthier for Jacksonville, which could help Christian Kirk. This is a prop I like up to 58 and a half, maybe even 59, and it's going up. Give me Christian Kirk. Over 54 and a half receiving yards, week eight.